This is not the smallest RTX 3000 card that you can sell your soul for. No, that spot goes to MSI's Aero ITX lineup, of which we did a video about the 3060. No, this is ASUS RTX 3060 Ti OC Dual Mini V2, the second smallest dual fan RTX 3060 Ti that I was able to find. But even though it is slightly bigger than the 3060 Aero at exactly 200mm versus 172mm, it is still able to fit into that tiny laser 3D LZX8 case. So both could be described as circumcised GPUs meant for really small form factor ITX builds. But the 3060 Arrow had quite a big problem, it got freaking hard. So for today I wanted to find out if this big poppy RTX 3060 Ti is a better fit for builds that show off that you don't have anything to compensate for. This episode is brought to you by CDKeyOffers.com. CDKeyOffers has a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of their usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. Generally speaking, the RTX 3060 Aero and 3060 Dual Mini are coming from two completely separate worlds. While the 3060 Aero is solely focused on using the least amount of space, Asus's Dual Mini tries to do the same thing, but while not forgetting that fans are actually nothing to be afraid of. And they did a pretty good job at it. A much bigger heatsink and two fans which may be slightly smaller, but cover a lot more of that heatsink compared to MSI Zero. To top it off, Asus used some of their actual tech whatever, which we know from the noise blocker review. And the result is a extremely quiet GPU while under full load. I would love to show you a comparison between this and the Aero fan, but I kind of killed it. it. It is still working, like it is, but now it produces a horrible scratching noise like 24-7. This is what a dead bearing sounds like and after what, like a year of sporadic use? That's, that's pathetic and th that's like reason enough to just go with the ASUS card, honestly. And of course, that nice backplate in SIG RGB. So overall, ASUS's version of a small form factor GPU is obviously way better equipped when it comes to cooling. Although this comes at the price of 28mm. But where do they stand relatively to each other? Of course, we cannot directly compare them head to head as one is a regular 3060 and the other one is a 3060 Ti. But we wanted to know for ourselves how all of our RTX 3000 cars are performing compared to each other. During all of our benchmarks, we've seen an about 20% average FPS increase going from our 3060 to the 3060 Ti. Going up another step was giving us about 10% more FPS, except for Metro Exodus, that one just dropped 10%, I, I have no idea why, Metro is weird. But ignoring that one single benchmark, our GPUs performed like expected, a 20% increase from the 3060 to 3060 Ti and another 10% for the 3070. So leaving the chip comparisons on the side. Let's say you are planning to build a PC small enough that you can accidentally swallow it. Well, with some cases coming with a sub 200mm GPU requirement, like the LZX8, your choices are pretty much limited to these two cards and a handful of other single fan 3060s. But my Arrow and Dual Mini comparison makes sense, because you can get each of them in a 3060 and a 3060 Ti version. And having now tinkered quite a bit with this smallest possible dual fan 3060 Ti, I can definitely say go for the ASUS. It's, it's quieter, it's cooler, and not even talking about the fact that my Arrow got the first GPU fan that I killed award. 
That being said, I will definitely not go over the price of this thing. We, we all know the MSRP and if I start talking about how much I paid for it, I will probably just start crying. I paid more for a 3060Ti than for a 3070. Oh man. But hey, at least you get a ASUS RGX 3060 Ti trading card. Anyway, the real reason I bought I bought this card was because I am still in the process of custom water cooling both the CPU and GPU inside this tiny, tiny case. And uh, my water cool 3070 vision did fit, but the PCIe power connectors did not. So let's say I started to do something pretty horrible to make it work. <laughs> and fast forward a couple of hours and after breaking some of my own solar joints multiple times, I decided it's time to stop. Hey, but hey, my 3070 is still alive and, and working just fine. And the 3060 Ti may work without soldering anything, who knows? Anyway, make sure to be subscribed to not miss that abomination of a custom PC. And if you want to keep watching, have a look at the RTX 3060 Aero ITX video. Back then the fan was still working. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.